Hello friends, welcome back. In this video, I am going to show you how we can translate text from one language to another that too without writing any Excel VBA code. Yes, you heard it right. We are not going to write any VBA code to translate. Instead, we are going to use a Power Query solution to translate text from one language to another. And I will show you step by step how you can do this. And if you are looking for an Excel VBA code to translate, then I have already posted couple of videos on my channel and I will provide link in the description below. And before we get into this video, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing and hit the bell icon so that you will not miss my upcoming videos. Now let's get into this video. To get started, open Chrome browser and simply navigate to this URL. And this will bring up the mobile version of Google Translate page. Here our source language is English and the target language is Spanish. And enter the text you wish to translate. And click on translate button. It will translate text into Spanish language. And if you look at this URL, it contains all three parameters. The source language, the target language and the text to be translated. Therefore, we need to provide three parameters to this URL. Notice that both the source and target languages are represented by a language codes. Now let's retrieve the list of language codes. Simply navigate to this URL and scroll down to find the list of languages supported by the Google. Copy this list into an Excel file which we will use to obtain the language codes. I already saved this data in my Excel file. Now let's begin creating the Power Query solution. This is the data set we'll use to translate this text into a different target languages. First copy the translation URL. Then go to the data menu. Click on from web. Paste the URL here and click OK. It will open Power Query Navigator. Choose this display text option where you will see the text reflecting what's displayed on the web. And all we have to do is we have to extract our translated text between this swap and Google keyword. Just click on transform data. It will open Power Query Editor. And here in the applied steps section, delete the column 1 step and rename this second step to displayed text. For more readability, Avoid using spaces in the steps names. Next, go to the transform menu and click on extract drop down and select this text between delimiter. And our start delimiter is swap and our end delimiter is Google. Now click on OK. Now you can see how easily we extracted text from between these two keywords. Next, again rename this our third step. Next, right click on this result and Click on drill down. Now we will have just a plain text. Again, rename this fourth step. Now we have created all our steps. Next, we go to the view menu. Click on advanced editor. We'll copy this lines of code from here. And using this lines of code, we'll create a Power Query custom function. That function we will use in our data set. Click cancel. Next, delete this query which we have just created. Next again do a right click on this query section and click on new query. Go to the other source and select blank query. Now go to the view menu and click on advanced editor. Now let's create a three parameters here as our translation URL required three parameters. The source language as text comma and the target language as text comma and our query text as text equal to sign and the greater than symbol. This will create a parameter to our custom function. Now let's paste that lines of code which we have copied. Next we have to make this URL dynamic by passing this three parameter to this one. So here is our first parameter which is the source language. And here is our second parameter which is a target language. And here is our third parameter which is a query text. Now we have specified all our three parameters to this one. Next copy this our last step name and put it here. Now you can see we don't have any syntax error here. Just click on done. 
Now give it a name to this function as Google Translate. So we just created our Power Query custom function to translate text from one language to another. Now our Google Translate function is ready. Close this Power Query editor. Now load this dataset to Power Query. Keep your cursor in dataset. Go to the data menu and click on from table range. Now here in applied steps, delete this change type. Now go to the add column menu and click on custom function. Now give it a name to your column. I'm giving as a translated text. And here in the custom function, enter that function which we have just created. And our function name is Google Translate. Open bracket. Now you can see it asking us to specify three parameters here. Now I specify the first parameter which is a source code, which is a source language. Select that source language and click insert. Comma. Select the target language. Insert. Put it comma and enter the query text which is our source text. Select that and click insert. Now close the bracket and click OK. Now you will get this data privacy option. Just click on continue. Now in the privacy level, select organization and click save. It will refresh our data set and it will translate text from our source language to the target language. Here you can see in the last column how easily it's translated from one language to another using a Power Query. Now load this data back to the Excel file. Go to the home menu. Click on close and load and select close and load to. Select this existing worksheet and select the cell where you want to load this data and click OK. Now all you have to do is whenever you want to translate you just have to add the keyword to this source table and refresh this data set. Now let's enter the text here. And this is our in English and I want to translate this into Spanish. Now just right click on your data set and refresh it. Now you can see how easily is translated from one language to another by just using a Power Query. You can use this Power Query custom function to translate text from one language to another very easily without writing any Excel VBA code. If you like this content, please do like and share and subscribe to my channel. If you have any doubts related to this content, please put them into comments below. And thank you so much for watching.